everyone and welcome to another vlog. So this is a little bit of an unexpected vlog because I had an email finally about a GP position. So a general practice nursing position that was going locally. They don't mind newly qualified nurses. Finally. <laughs> Oh, it's been such a long process. I've been applying for GP since last year, since like June, maybe. Everyone told me it was too early to apply. So I waited till towards the end and I applied for some more. Still getting no's from people, still not even getting interviews because I'm newly qualified. It's a really, oh, it's been a pain. I'm sorry. But finally sent off my application to them and they've asked me, do I want to go? Because I'm new to the area. They've asked, do I want to go to the clinic and um, have a look around, speak to the staff there, take a look at the area, how long it's going to take me to get there. And then if I'm still interested, do I want to apply? So that's what I'm going to do on Monday. I'm very, very excited for it. And I'm just sort of deciding what to wear. I think I'm going to go smart casual because I don't want to go full interview style because I don't want to ruin the surprise for the interview. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go in some maybe smart trousers or actually no, probably my black leggings, my nice little boots. I'll put a shirt on and just my little tweed jacket just so I look smart and presentable so that they look at me and think, yeah, OK, we could employ this person. Yeah, first impressions, guys, always makes all the difference. But I don't want to like wow them, not until the interview. So, yeah. So I'll let you all know how it goes on Monday when I speak to them and have a look around the clinic. But I'm so excited. Oh, I cannot wait for this. I'm not even a bit nervous. I'm so excited. So, yeah, see you on Monday, guys. So I have just come out of the practice. Where the practice is, is gorgeous. Oh my God, there's like a church and a courtyard. Very old, very quiet area. It's oh, absolutely amazing. I've gone in, I've spoke to everybody. A practice manager introduced me to everybody. The nurses, the GP, student nurse. So they have student nurses, which I was amazed with. And I had a really good chat with them and it was absolutely lovely. I'm just waiting now to find out if I can go and have an official interview. They have said they will interview me, which is a bonus. This is the first step, guys. This is the first time anyone has even let me into a GP practice. And hopefully I'm going to bag this job, fingers crossed, dispel the myths more, hopefully promote it even more, hopefully get more GPs to take on newly qualified nurses and show that we aren't that bad that we actually do a good job and we're going to be amazing and improve the care of the patients. Just hopefully do an amazing job and wow people. It's just, I feel like home, guys. I've come in and I'm just like, I'm home, I'm home. I am going to do the next part of the vlog when I get my interview or, or hear back from them. I will continue this and yeah, and let you know. So yeah, so for now it is a goodbye and I shall see you later. So I have been given my official interview date. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Don't feel nervous right now. I just feel pure excitement because this is the first interview I've had for GP. Oh, I can't wait. So what am I doing to get prepared? So what I'm doing is, firstly, because I'm new to the area, I need to research the area that this surgery is in because it's in a slightly different area to where I'm at now and look up the common conditions they have, what sort of population is out there. Um, it's all gonna look good, hopefully, in my interview, and I will be prepared for when they ask me that question. Fingers crossed. I'm looking up the surgery as well, so the actual GP surgery website. I'm having a look at the CQC report to see what that says, it's all good. <laughs> um, I'm looking up the practice information, so the opening times, what clinics they do, what service they provide. I'm also looking up the ethos, so they have an ethos online, which I actually really, really like. I'm all about continuality, that's why I want to come to GP. I found that on the wards, I didn't like that I was treating a symptom, the patient left and never saw them again. It, it really, really unsettled me. I thought about that patient for days. I still think about some of those patients now. And that's one of the things I'm going to love about GP and I know I'm going to love it is that I see my patients again and again and I build up that rapport and oh, this is me. It's my job. Come on. Everything about this is me. I love this. This is me. <laughs> Hello. Employ me. Um, so yes, I love that ethos. It like genuinely, genuinely love it. So I'm really excited for that and to talk about that in my interview as well. Hopefully that's going to 
look good for me but not only just that it's i genuinely genuinely think that this practice is amazing i genuinely think i'm going to be happy there i genuinely can see myself there which room i'm going to have and how i'm going to work and what i'm going to say to patients when i first meet patients it's me come on guys i need this <laughs> pray for me so that's what i'm doing at the minute do your research guys if you've got a gp interview coming up or if you're looking into gp you need to look these things up look up the practice look up the ccgs the locality the health conditions be prepared know what a gp nurse does know your roles and responsibilities have a look into what you might want to specialize in as well because there's a whole lot of different things a gp nurse does so it would be nice as well to have a look at that and what you're really interested in, if it's diabetes and um, palliative care whether it's asthma hypertension cardiovascular any of that wound care, sexual health and family planning, which is my love, I know. So that's it for now. I have my interview next week, so I'll do another vlog on my interview day. Fingers crossed for me, guys. Hi, everyone. Just a little update from me. So today is now Friday. I've got my interview on Tuesday. I'm now a little bit nervous. I think it's that, oh my God, it's the fear of the unknown. <laughs> Am I going to be okay? Am I going to be in safe hands? Of course I am. I need to stop panicking. So yes, yeah, so I'm a bit nervous. I've been going over the job description and the person's spec. So I'm going through all of that and I'm just refreshing my brain. So now it's bye from me. And the next time I'm going to see you is on Tuesday, ready for the interview. Fingers crossed. Hi everyone, it's Tuesday. I'm on my way to interview. I'm very nervous now. I'm not excited anymore. So I'm going to get on the train listen to some meditation music, try and calm myself down for this interview because the last thing I want to do is mess this up. This is, oh, I feel like it's my only chance, guys. So um, yeah, I've dressed to impress, hopefully. I've got my suit on. Um, I've got my folder with all my stickers and things in. And yeah, but I'll let you know after the interview how it goes. We'll see. So I am back. I've got my hair out. I'm in my comfies and I can tell you about my interview. So I'm smiling, which means it's gone all right. <laughs> so I think I've done the best I could in that interview. I really tried to sell myself. I have to say, oh, they were so lovely. The two ladies that interviewed me, I'd met last time. I, I didn't realise this when they said my email, but I'd met them before so that really put me at ease as well and it was just lovely and they spoke to me like a human being you know it wasn't it didn't feel really regulated or strict or anything like that it felt just natural like you were having a chat with your friends or family it was really really lovely they didn't grill me too much either thank god but they said they've got a few people to interview this week so they might not get back to me until next week so we'll see so yeah, so I've done everything I can for now. I'm not going to overthink it and stress it like I always do. I'm going to raise it, push it away and we'll see what they say. So I will keep this vlog going. I'm going to do a little vlog when I hear back. Fingers crossed it's good news because if it's bad news, I'm going to have to redo this whole vlog again. <laughs> it's fine you know it happens i've had a lot of rejections i'm prepared for this but i'm not gonna get rejected this time i've got this come on hi guys so you're gonna have to excuse this look oh god i'm half asleep as you can hear in the background i'm on the phone i don't want to show the number but i've had a missed call and this is the exciting news i've been waiting for so i thought i'd let you listen in I'm just in a queue to speak to the lady I need to speak to. Oh, I'm so nervous, guys. <sighs> Fingers crossed, come on. Hopefully it's good news. Hopefully it's the news I want. I'm really sorry about the quality of this as well. I'm having to record on my MacBook because I'm using my phone. They must be really, really busy. It is Monday, isn't it? It's probably the worst day of the week for GPs. Just to give her a ring back. It's Claire Carmichael. Just bear with me a second. Thank you. She's putting me through, guys. Hello there, Claire. Hi oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can start today if you wanted me to start today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God, you just made my year. I got the job. Oh my god. Guys. Wait 
it so long for this? Oh my god. I need to go and sort my face out. Got the job, guys. I'm gonna be a GP nurse.